Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Civilization 6 as Khmer, as Jayavarma the 7th. I have a plan for this game. And my plan for this game is for once not go wide, or let's say go just as wide as necessary, but try to go tall. Get housing, get food, build tall. This means we have to do some economy and I do not want this to be an all-out war game because war generally means wide. In Civ 6, wide is better than tall. This is why we're playing on Immortal, on a Pangea and with a legendary start position. We play on standard... could go on slower. The Rome game was pretty fun with one slower. Let's go one slower. But otherwise standard random sifts. First I thought do some Asian sifts, but there are not that many that actually fit to this area. So we just leave it on random, it's more interesting. Okay. And then we start. Let's hope we do not have to restart. This is supposed to be a fun game. I'm, I have still the Beers over, Religious Overhaul mod installed and the uh, tile adjustments because that's just. I don't want to play it down that. It just buffs the things that are weak and, of course, makes religion more interesting. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man and we're drinking Amarula. Bright steps. You have come Google far. it if you don't know what it is. Now begins it's great. your greatest quest. From this early cradle of and if you're underage, on towards the ask stars. your parents if they let Why you have a sip of it. Seventh to hold the name. The Khmer admire your dedication. And if you're underage and in America, and I'm sorry for you. Of the land's fresh waters, but hey, at least you can you drive when you're 16. People, just Here you have to wait till 18 to be able to, to drive. Heaven. Go forth, divine But architect. you can drink beer and, Build an empire and wine from perfection. 16 on. And may on. your enemies find their end beneath your mighty war elephants. Khmer is a really fun sif. And actually a good sif. The Domri is a really damn good unit. Which will enable us some war, but like I said, I don't want this to be an all-out war game. The Domri could let you dominate so well that it could be an all-out war game. But that's not what I'm in the mood for, and that's what I've done several times. Um, victory type-wise, this could also be a religious victory. Culture one or a science one. I don't think it's a domination. But if we get enough faith going, I'm considering religious victory because we have done that only once, and that's long ago. Holy sites provide plus two food and one housing if placed on a river. I have to remember that. Holy sites are really good, so that's religious victory. It's really tempting for me. Something tickles my ear, really driving me crazy. Ah, a pun. Um, no, a rhyme, not a pun. A pun is something else. Um, three faith and one amenity from entertainment to each city with an aqueduct and farms plus two food if Addison to an aqueduct. I want to maximize this stuff. I have to check what the Praza do does again because I really do not remember what the Praza does. Um, options, graphics, show, da da da, and then the Prazat. I, I have a friend of mine is named, but not with T, it's written different, but you, it's also Prazat, not Prazat, but Prazat. Um, da da da, required to purchase, oh, it's temple replacement, good. Um, Inquisitors, uh -huh. uh, missionaries purchasing the season with Martyr, which grants a relic if this mi dies in few. So, Martyr missionaries. The point is, I think missionaries cannot engage in combat 
Or can they? I thought only apostles can. Of course, a missionary can die if attacked by an apostle. Hmm, I'm not sure how potent that is, but that could be a religion, a cultural game. Otherwise, it's a normal prophet, a normal temple. So it's not any better than te a temple, but it gives you better missionaries. Also, not better missionaries, really. It just gives you one more relic slot. Which is good if you go tall. If I, usually I go wide, so usually I have an, by far enough relic slots for my relics. But this could be tempting. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at our starting location. This is pretty damn good. Get the masonry boost. I have two pasture resources. I have marble, which is really good. I have coffee, which is really good. I have bananas, on, of which one is on a hill. Both are really good. I have several hill jungles. And I have a mountain range. The question is... I want to I mean, I obviously want a science district here. Do I want to move away from the horses and get the horses in the expansion? Will I see more if I move here? No, but I want to move here afterwards. So, Settle in place. Will it remove the marsh if I settle in place? Oof. I don't know. I could get more Saint Michel on that tile if I'm not settling on it. In my capital, which would be really good. I want an aqueduct. Okay, this is actually more complicated with Khmer than I thought. Because I have to plan a holy site on the river. I have to plan the science district because it's the capital. As usually I want to plan for certain wonders. I want an industry district. I want a holy site district and I want an aqueduct. And let's see. Are you adjusted with the mod? Where is the religion? This is the sign for religion. Yes, they are here. Um, t fertility rights in cities. Tiles that are adjacent to a source of water and holy sites get faith and food. This is certainly an option that I consider. Because as Khmer, I have more housing. To check quickly through those. But sky, there are a lot of good things. Of course, this is also always good. War, oh, creativity, festivals, protection. I rarely see this as an option, so the AI must like it. Plantations, I don't know. Well, I have some bananas. No. Harvest, no. Hunt, no. Stars and the nights, guys. But that gave my cities as Rome a lot of production. It made them so good. Trades, wisdom, youth. Oof. Oof, this is also really neat. Faith in aqueducts and two food from aqueducts. Oh, just from ac is Okay, aqueducts get two food and two faith. Holy sites gain plus three housing when Addison to an aqueduct. I would love to get this and... And fertility rights. So goddess of youth or fertility rights. Growth rate. Okay, let's see what else is there. Read some Mars. No monument to the gods. That's super good when you go. No, that's the wonder one. 
I could, there's also the monument one, which is super good when you go wide. Nature, that's that's interesting. River goddess would actually be good too, since we plan on river stuff. There's a stone circles and tears of the god. Coastal stuff. Okay, no, so youth is just holy sites have to be next to an aqueduct. And this one means um, tiles that are adjacent to water, to fresh water, including aqueducts, very important, and holy sites get plus one faith and food. So if we sandwich tiles between aqueduct and holy site, those tiles become really damn good. Which makes things complicated. But if I build, for example, the aqueduct here and the holy site here, then these two tiles would get plus one food and plus one faith. And as Khmer, let me read it again. I'm sorry for this slow start. Um, holy sites provide plus two food and housing if placed on a river. So that's what the holy site itself gets. But the need to have the holy site at the river. Very important for that one housing. Then, amenity from in to each city with an aqueduct. Okay, that's also just built the aqueduct. Farms provide plus two food if adjacent to an aqueduct. So if I want plus three food and one faith farms, I want the aqueduct and the holy site to be like super good. So if I can squeeze in a farm triangle between an aqueduct which provides fresh water for the holy site thingy and the holy site, that would be super good. Because only farms next to the aqueduct get improved. So an aqueduct here is not that strong. For example, an aqueduct here and a holy site like here means I can build two farms in here. But no farm triangle. But if I sandwich them, I can only build one farm triangle, which would be here, if I build the holy site here. So if I move then the aqueduct and the holy site alignment cannot go because the river is straight. So, I would have to move north if I want the Mont Saint-Michel in my capital. Holy shit, that's so much stuff. But I think we made in our Assyria Let's Play a lot of Mont Saint-Michel exploitment. I'm really considering settling in place. Holy site here, I hope there is it's available because I can do a farm triangle here that gets insane. Aqueduct. So let's for easier thinking. Aqueduct. Holy site here. So we need to buy this tile early on. The river is here, so that, that works. This makes these two tiles really good and improves these tiles. The aqueduct must be Addison to the city and have fresh, have water on it. I mean, it could also move like here and skip the science down here, which is sad. But I still have a lot of chunga. And then like, because here I have so many fresh river tiles. It could become amazing. Here I could still... Well, here I can still just build the aqueduct here or here. And then the holy side. Where is the holy side going? Here? Doesn't change. It's the same thing. But I may do that with another city too. So, this gives me here super good farms. Anyway, this farm gets improved by one, two. These farms get improved by three and one. That's so good. And I can still like build an engineer district in here that gets three improvement because of the mines, or I can build it like here or somewhere. There are several good points. And then later on build the Ruhr. 
on one of the places. I still have tiles added center or flat to my capital for wonders. I want some wonders. Science district here, although if I do the science district here, then I cannot build Oxford unless I keep this tile empty. We'll have to see because we don't know many tiles. As I see, this is probably a mountain, but I'm not sure. This looks very like a mountain. I'm pretty sure this is one. But here I'm not sure. And what these tiles are, we don't know. What these tiles are, we don't know. What these tiles are, we don't know. So, I will do now what you probably think long ago. Settle already! I mean, I could also have moved over on the luxury. Ooh, that would have been good too. That would have been good too, that's true. But then I would have moved one, two, three, out of the range of this banana. Which I do not really want to be. Um, we could go for Stonehenge. But where would we build it? Does this let me check. We're playing on Immortal. Does the Stonehenge need stone or is marble? Okay, no, it needs stone. Which means we have only this spot. But I kind of want to farm on this because there's an aqueduct. And this, to chop this, takes so long. You have stone here. If this tile is flat, we could build a Stonehenge there. The map is standard, so we want a scout anyway. And we're playing on slow, so I'm not sure if you can even pick. I need the boost for Stonehenge to get Stonehenge. I think it's not worth the risk. Not playing on DT, but Immortal is, I think, hard enough. It is actual stone. This is very interesting terrain. Oof. Very interesting terrain. I love it. I mean, I can always consider to remove stuff. You know, I can remove this for for a science district. Would still get one, two science, and then have a glorious industry district in here. Of course, this would get three science, but that's it. It's just one science more, and it kind of blocks me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What you may also think is Chichen Itza. The point is you have to rush Chichen Itza and probably will fail anyway. The AI builds Chichen Itza between turn 60 and 80, usually. Oh my god. There's a natural wonder down here. I think it's um, Mount Everest. Playing on slow. Do we want a scout? Yes, because we're playing on standard and we want we want to scout real fast. We want our city to be on production focus. It will go for that in four turns and it will grow in four turns. It's good. How much is tile acquirement? 75. Do you want mining to be finished first? Or do I want this first? To start on the stone. I have to build the stone edge here. There's no other option. It's still good. I mean, I lose an amazing tile. That's true and sad. But these tiles will be amazing too. And it's not an early game amazing tile. The only question... I'm so sorry for playing so slow. I'm usually not one that plays so slow. 
But if I go for this, I will have it in like 12 turns. I will not have the builder finished until then. And the builder only helps with this. Let's continue on this for now. Because I kind of need both. I have no forests to chop though. Ooh, that makes it hard. It makes it really hard. Without a forest to chop. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. This is a ridiculous holy site. Oh gosh. It's four, five, six. I think it's six. If this counts as mountain itself, then it's even eight. Could also say fuck Stonehenge. And go for early cities. Get the profit points. I mean, if we fail on Stonehenge, we kind of fucked. Ooh, there's the coast. That's not good. I need to see what is over here. So we will scooch to the south. Also, the south should be easier to scout since the jungle is up here. At least for the warrior. Yeah, actually for the scout too. Found a goodie hut. Let's hope it's something useful. That's why I always love the Shoshona. You should be working on this, right? Are you telling me what you're working on? Yeah, you're working on the good stuff because I'm not paying attention. We have actually quite some money. 110. Yeesh. But I, you know what I hate? It told me before it's going for this tile. Whoops, it went for this. Why does it even bother to tell me then? Still seven turns for growth? Yeesh. I mean, we could always build a stone edge here. Makes a little bit of a sad industry district because I really would like the industry district here. We can always rethink our plans. Oof, that's chopping. That's not bad. That's chopping. That's chopping rainforest. All hills, it's so hard to move through with this poor warrior. We don't see shit in an old. I hope no barbarians come. Barbarians could screw us over completely. Don't see this tile. Fine, I will never see that tile. Holy shit, the mountain range continues. If down here is some Sif that gets all this land, I will be so mad. Because look at this, this is a great deer. This is a national park. Oof, we have such a good... Best. Man is the we have such of good opportunities to go tourism. Ooh, not a goodie hut. I mean, of course, there could be a goodie hut. You know what? It will drive me nuts otherwise. A wheat. It's not bad, it's not bad. Prove three tiles. I mean, it could go for two builders. If I'm lucky, I get one out of a ruin. We go for this and for this. No city states so far. That's quite unlucky. City states would be really good now. There's a desert over there. My city is expanding in five turns. I have the money to buy one tile. <clears throat> I'm not first. 
I'm not first. It's Zanzibar. Zanzibar is great. But the fact that I'm not first means someone has discovered it. The question is from where? Lots of marsh. It's on the river. There is another one, a religious one. A builder unit. Oh! We are so lucky! means I can improve several tiles. Let's wait until it expands on its own because I would rather have it to go here. I want this boost. Wait, where is the production for, for wonders? It's in here, right? Yes, build specialty district. That's so not well. There was a religious unit. Good, we're first with Laventa. Very good. Our pantheon is secured. It's you. And Kumasi. And you settled already here. Do not dare to settle closer. At least, at least he's not a competitor for a religion. Now the question is where do we want to farm? I could buy the horses afterwards. That would be really good. Let's do some scouting with this guy. Build a scouting best scouting. Hmm. Three poppy work the good tiles. Am I right? Of course I am right. I mean I could also buy the oh, we want to buy both. But I cannot improve that, so I should buy this. It's the same tile value. I mean, yes, this is one production list, but as soon as I improve it, same time, same value. And right now, I don't have the money to buy any tile anyway. You're also Laventa, right? Yes. So, oh, goody hut. Two turns. Will I have the money in time? I don't think so. No. I need at least three more turns. You gave me foreign trade? Really? You know that's pretty bad. And the tundra often are goody huts. I mean, in here I want to scout too. I have this wonder for myself that's really good. Need to scout more. Five turns and five turns. It's really good alignment. Went to the right time. Yes, please. I want the faster growth because I will work on more tiles in the end. Kandi and I'm first! Yes! Which is the fastest way here? And then... I go here, I can... This, I'll see. I can cross and then I can move here. And as long as this doesn't have an upgrade. And actually, Kandi is great if you have it early. You actually like him for a relic when you discover stuff. Military tradition. Clear a barbarian outpost. That's totally doable. Next turn, I have the money for this. So, yes, move here. I could not move there, so I move here. The up there is now a barbarian outpost. Give me better stuff in Kandi. Found a ruin. Let's go for that. I mean, the barbarian outpost is not a threat to me, it's just a threat to me. I wonder can barbarians kill city states? He doesn't like me. 
for an unknown reason. Could have sent him a delegation, but I need the money. It's now gotten one up. Barbarian down here. I will kill that one. It's fine. 2-2. Two, two, that's good. In here. I know it's expensive. I don't have horseback riding, I'm so stupid. I mean, it's still a good tile, but I should have bought this. Um, this means I have to go for a farm somewhere. For the boost. But then probably rather with this one so I can do the choppings. Well timed. That's really not helpful. That's really not helpful. Boost for irrigation? Got two useless boosts out of ruins. I mean, I don't complain. The builder is amazing. Without a knowledge of astrology, has no right to call himself. So there's only one tile where we can place the stone edge. We're going for it, but. We have to do this. I would be stupid if I would not do this. We will create a farm in here, even though it will not last. And then we go for craftsmanship. And then we prepare some chopping. We're going for them. So this means we have to buy something for more chopping. A reckon unit. It's actually good. You go into the south. Because you, you will deal with that guy when at next turn. Because this guy only needs to get once experience and then he has a level up. Therefore I don't need the more experience for my stuff. But also skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects such as wickerwork am I crazy or is the game not very loud let's move the scouts first another goodie hut that will be the upgrade for the scout let's move here and now we are not choosing civic. I want to switch this first. I want this. This is good. Then we smash. And then we want this. It's 25 turns. I'm not sure if that will kick in. We're playing on slow. So it may kick in. 13 turns for this. I could go for animal husbandry first. Just to improve the production. But that's like 21 turns. I will grow, which means more science. What is better? Well, if you're lucky, we have iron. If you're lucky, we have iron. Let's go for that. Let's hope for iron. Let's pray to the gods of iron. Mysticism. Why do I always get useless boosts? Mysticism? That's Pantheon. Found the Pantheon. Fun fact, I can do that in two turns. I admit... Ooh, that's very good. But I admit I'm very tired of getting useless ruins. I get so many. And there are all kind of useless. You're not winning enough. You need to heal afterwards. 
you can sleep because you cannot improve anything but the production is really good two turns for growth what happens if I do this? still two turns grow what happens if I do this? three turns growth okay that's how we go another goodie hut okay we are super lucky with goodie huts you got to heal a bit keep something here so it doesn't forward settle in this direction although I haven't seen a unit here so he probably won't do that but it's still a little bit scary Palenque and I'm first this guy is not scout another turn healing 40 gold that's really good I want to cross the river to see what's down here because I want to settle this settle yeah I want to settle that's a new word now. Ten times. Next turn growing. Can I go for more production than this? Because it will grow to this tile. Therefore not make a difference. Well, unless it's like in... Well, it's a growth overflow. I'm not sure if it's still the same as in C5. Oh, come on, you block me. Yes. The boost for mysticism. Candy likes us. Even though Candy grabbed this. So. They are not really well sorted. There is. So we want the aqueduct or the fertility rights. Goddess of Youth is still here. Are fertility rights also still here? Yes. I want them. Good. It's funny, I know that here is no hill and no forest, because I can move there. Oh, it is a hill, but I have the hill movement, right? Making fun of it and then failing. A lot of city-states around me, that's actually really good. I hope he doesn't take them out. Zanzibar wants a prophet. Kumasi wants a spearman. The spearman is not really going to happen. Palenque is also happy. I don't even know why. Hong Kong wants a holy site. They all want really good stuff. I like it. Over here. Unique got experience. Oh, if I only had the other one slotted in, then it would be now level 2. Because it will probably not get to the next one, since discovering stuff only gets kind of 4 or 10 or... That's not enough. 5? Needs at least 2 times experience. Alright, you should be working on the production stuff, yes, it's really good, double production. I can buy this now. I should buy jungle to chop. 
10 turns and work it to produce. The question is which one? Industry district in here. This is good. This means this is free. This means I can build this, the science district here. This is a mountain. I can see it from the borders. Industry district in here is actually really damn good. It's a one, two, three, four, five. Five! Can I get a better one? No, not really. So, yes. Please, that tile. Thank you very much. 14 turns, 14 turns, good. Saved off one turn. And hopefully more as soon. Ooh, maybe I should have waited two turns to see if I actually can get iron. That would have been the smart move. I think. You go here. You move here. Like the music. The xylophone music. Or these pottery things that you that you, that I had to play and pretty much everyone where I live um, in their young ages. We name them Klongstab. Another builder. Oh my, oh my god! Um, I want another jungle tile to drop. For example, this one. How much is this one? 80. I need money. I have marble that I could sell. Will you buy me marble? He would buy me probably. For a lot of money. That's good. It's really good. My city is still happy enough. But I can now... I can now wait, attack and then buy stuff because of a possible iron. Game is going on really damn good. What? On turn? What? 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 This is incredibly Rose early. Is the mirror of the full Iron up there. The I need to. Of the mind. To buy to this tile so my plan works. And I cannot buy the iron up there now. Wow, this is frustrating. But I do not want to complain because the game is otherwise going very well. But that is still very frustrating. We're not playing on DT and turn 32. We're playing not on standard speed, we're playing on epic speed. Where did you come from? Did you walk all the way around? You know I have scouts that are happy to fight you. You know that? My friend, you know that? Look. Yes, you don't. The iron up there, that's actually really damn good. So we can skip this now. Go here. Now we need the amenity that we sold. Oh great. Yeah, I want to cross the river over here. The warrior will get this, scout this, and then go up here. Iron in here. And of course, someone has already profit points now. I could have had them long ago. Holy shit, this is so good. 
you have a lot of faith I would buy that. Really? I want to cock block this scout. This scout will not come. Barb camp over there. Can clear it for money. Animal. How much is the iron? We'll have that in a few turns. It's true. The farm in here will be really good. For food. But I need a granary after that. The iron would also give science. But the horses would also give... Who cares? There are many good things. I need more builders and stuff anyway. Got beaten by a super fast. I mean, I was really, I would have been super fast with the Stone Edge. There were only like 10 turns left, and I would have boosted it by a lot by chopping jungles and stuff. No way, you're not getting away. You're giving me this, the missing 14 experience one by one. I can slam this guy, then I'm nearly dead. But I get some experience. I knew it! They never scout Tundra. I can still go and improve the horses. Horses are good. I can sell them. I can also sell the iron. You really want that, my friend? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nine turns for a shrine. Nine turns for a shrine. Fine. Then holy side prayers. We really need okay seven turns. It's faster than expected. You heal a little bit. You get this. Early empire. Fine. Getting them boosts. I would have this profit already. But no. Someone had to be a dick about it. You don't have hill walk, so you cannot reach this. I got this already. Ooh, nice! Work it. Oh, I don't have the aqueduct yet. Mm, I'm stupid. This farm was so not worth it. And working this is probably also not smart. And I have housing now because I have built a shrine next to them. I'm playing actually better than I think. Trade in one production for one food and faith? Probably yes. Especially since it doesn't lower. What else I got? There's another Sith. Another Sith. Yes. Someone from the dark side. Kill steel! My purity experience. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want what to go where they go. went. Ray boost! And now, of course, we're yeah, still we all already working that. Good! Wait, why are you not working the bananas? Are you bananas? Okay, my, my jokes are really, really go getting worse. But the granary would be good. Oh, hello! Next turn.
We need two more mines for the workshop thing. It's for experience, actually. That's the positive aspect of trade, ah. I suppose. The world gets stirred up. Two more go. of that. Early Empire for settlers. Yes, please. And we grow in seven. Very good. Grow in seven. Working very good tires. Very good. I'm happy with that. that how that is going. Um. What am I building? Shrine stuff. So plus one production is still the best. Fighting against barbarian is also good. I mean the other one would mean he has... You know what. You know what. I don't need to fight against barbarians. I'd rather have super scouts. Super scouts are amazing because this one will now level up. He will nearly die, but he will get to the next level. Yes! See? So good. I am the master planner. So good. And if this guy discovers anything, he will be a hero. This guy is not as strong anymore, but he's still winning and he gets the promotion, which means it will be super easy. Super smooth. What? This guy is so much in ahead of me. Got to do a lot of catch up. Glad that this guy did not set. Ooh, bark camp in here. That could be good for me if it swarms him. He will probably swarm Zanzibar, but the units may be a distraction to him, which could be helpful. Let's move in between here, and then scout this area. You got a promotion. War cry! It's battle cry now. Hello! Oh, you suck! Can't even send you a delegation, but you will hate me anyway. You will love the Congo because they have more military than anybody else. Mm. Yeah. Smash here. Hooray! Money! I should bring this guy back. Um, 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 um I wanted to do something. Yes. Put down a pin here for the industry district so I don't forget. I could get a Potala Palace. Ooh, sexy Potala Palace. I could also get it over here. I can actually get quite a few wonders since this is now free again. Uh. I did prefer the previous song. I mean, the instruments and stuff is nice, but... No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Ah... Uh, what is best for me? I mean, I want that. Harvesting stone is also good. I will need this at some point. Oh yeah, the marsh got removed by settling. Hanging gardens would be cool. Oh my god, that would be really cool. Let's make a bet. I will start the hanging gardens and fail on it. Time for this, then after this. This is an envoy. The Oracle would be great. I want some wonders, goddammit. When I'm playing tall, I need wonders. I mean, I'm not playing wonder spam, but still. 
Yerevan. Wow, all these religious city states in here. I would love to take out Kandi. Or get an envoy for Kandi. 44. This takes forever. Before I get more wonders, I would like to get influence with Kandi. I have chance there. Someone else is also attuned, actually a little ahead of me. Currently I'm second. If I find the border of a wonder, I will not go and just co cover it. As long as I notice, of course. Because I have to admit, sometimes I move in a way that is not smart. Or at least, not smart for the sport of thingy that I'm thinking about. So your production focus so you means you go for this tile afterwards, which is good. I like that. I wonder how much this gives. Wait, what? She likes me? No, she has minus three. This is cleared. There's a lot... I get the feeling I'm very isolated over here. Wow. She had war with someone. No. Seven. And now we do not have the housing anymore. So now I really like production. Do you want to move this to this? Yes, I do. Then I want to change to this actually. I want to turn late already. Because I want to start on the hanging Thousands gardens. have lived without love. Still two turns. Without what? Water. It said two turns before. Now it's still the two turns. You're a fucking liar. You know that? Overwriting. Archery. Actually, that's a, a boost I would not have gotten otherwise. I mean, it's not a boost I really care about. Still. Profit. Yeah, I'm working on it. Spearman. Not gonna happen. We the same turn with Egypt. That sucks. Why are so many going for that? Uh, did Spain get this? Disgusting. I hear the noise. Isn't, wasn't that a noise of barbarian camps spawning? Okay, here and then here. Then you can cross the rivers. I'm super isolated. That's so good for going tall. If I'm getting first by doing this, then it's great. A strong economy begins with a strong, well educated workforce. This person is three in? Really? So this person will be faster. Which sucks balls. Now I have to go for this. Seven hundred. I will be able to save the last few turns, but he will catch up a lot. It's too risky to risk it.
Money, very good. Police, yeah, I wanted to, but now I don't want anymore. Make less money because of the shrine that costs money, right? And city's expense, yeah, city's expense. Oh, come on. From which camp do you... Yeah, seriously, from which camp do you come? I don't see a full camp. Huh, land continues. The land is super good. Land is really super good. So good. Love it. Yerevan, what do you want? A trade route? A trade route? You know that you're a little bit far for a trade route? Could align it better putting one in here I will settle so late which is actually usually not a smart no it's, it's definitely not a smart idea to do that don't do that at home kids settling late is bad a barbarian encampment you know what I'm not scouting further no Down to two. Writing means sharing. It's part of the Why is it still at three? Things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. I do not understand. No, seriously. It's still at three. Why? Let's me go crazy. I want to go early for the aqueduct, of course. All the forest there. <clears throat> Ooh, more experience for this guy. Go attack him. It just needs three hits. Actually, he should get double experience, so it should be two instead of one. So he only needs two hits. Come on! Hit him! Why is it still just one experience? It should be double. Why was it so much damage? Is a fortifying... Oh, would he survive at fortifying? It's too much of a risk. Ship is too strong. Still two turns. Good. I'm clearly not anymore first. Even Egypt is now three. I will need to faith by. Laventa gives colossal head improvements. Color. Three faith, one faith for every ad for two Addison rainforest, and one faith for two Addison woods. So it just gives faith. No, it also gives. Why does it tell me something different here and here? Oh, probably because they changed it. Because nobody ever built it. So it's two faith and one culture. And gets more faith. So it's okay. It's okay, I'd say. The question is where would I build the hanging gardens? The hanging gardens. Not on any of these tiles. Really? That's what you do? Cock blocking me with the cock block card? Like Koiba would? One more turn. Then I should get it because I have the faith to instant buy it if I'm very close. Give it to me.
I mean, worst would be if Egypt gets it and spreads to Congo. Would never be able to. Def I mean, it would, but it would be such a hassle to defeat that. Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell. Fourteen. So I'm first, but I have to check every turn so I can faith buy it, because I'm only four turns faster than this person, and if this person faith buys it in, in those four turns, I'm I I would be faster than. I'm not faster than I'm just sad. And my life is sometimes sad enough. I don't need more sadness in my life. So, when we're talking about sadness, where can this sadness go? I mean, do I want it here? I could build it here. I still have two other free. But if I want to run the spam, I want the Apadana, the Eiffel Tower, and the, and the Forbidden Palace. Therefore, I'd rather buy one. If, in the, ooh, if industry goes here, I cannot build the Ruhr. Ooh, that's true. Shoot. Plus 20% production. That alone is worth it. Plus one production of each mine and quarry in the city. Guess what I have? A lot of stuff. Yeah, and it needs to be at the river, am I right? Um, Addison to a river. And an industrial zone. Therefore, we cannot do that. I mean, it's a great industrial zone, don't get me wrong, but I have to do this. I have to go for industrial here. Therefore, still science here and Oxford. Where is Oxford? Oxford here. And the Ruhr can go on, on probably this time. Or this time. Therefore, I need to buy one. I could buy this one. We have an aqueduct here. Do holy side benefits stack? Build one here. Remove this and make a farm out. Oof. Let's buy the hill here. I... My friend! My bank! You want iron? You want iron. You want iron a lot. Good. Here, have iron, my friend. You, you surely want horses. No, you have horses. You want a second horse? No. Now that I have a lot of money, I'll give you a delegation. Friendship? Not yet. But I would love for it. Can I? Thank you. Then here. Wait, how much production do I have? 17. 15% of 17. 10% will be 1.7. Okay, it's already better. Well, it's 16. Still, it's better. Fourteen turns here. Yeah. It's faster. We're down to sixteen, but it's still faster. You have no builders. How much is a builder? Yes, a lot. How close are we here? Not close enough to buy. Ooh, this is what we want, of course. Um. Yeah, this is what we want. I let's see if I'm a fortune teller. If we do not get the hanging gardens, 
then we all can pity my my greed. Twenty faith. That's okay. Look, there is experience walking around. And even more. Nope, not engaging with that. From which direction do I want to join this? From this direction. Really? This could be hard. <laughs> My poor warrior takes forever down there. They both... Wow, no, she hates me! There is no negative smile, even though she's at minus 15. It's such a lie. He's at minus 6. They dislike a small standing army. Why does all? Why do all the AIs hate people with small armies? You know what? I'm pretty much done with most of the scouting. Therefore, I'm going for this, because the plus 20 combat strength is pretty neat. I mean, I'm nowhere close to the experience I need for that. But if ever a war breaks out, I just need to fortify that scout, and he may get to that. Just in the off chance. I should put... No, I should clear this camp with the warrior. And this guy can scout a bit. Or can scout in here, just in case there is... some evil guy coming. I mean, this... I can build an aqueduct here. City here, farm triangle. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly. But or city turns. on the bananas, aqueduct here, farm triangle. Oh. It also gets the salt and the stone. Farm triangle and also the holy site. Well, the holy site has probably to go here or next. I want the holy site of the river. Maybe there is space in here. Um, yes, of course, I move here first just for the vision. To discover this edge. Science! I need ancient walls. This means I need the quarry. Because I want that boost. He's actually quite low. You're at war with someone. You're at war with a city-state. Otherwise you would not have that few military units. You were at over 100. Well, better, better the city-state than me. Guess that's pretty obvious. I will have great few cities. The question is where? Because I like the land up here. There's a river. Somewhere around here, a city. Over here, a city. That's two, three, four, five. Five cities. One, two, three, four, five. Five to the build. So six in total. And we. We stay at that. How do I get the pearls? Well, I can... If my city is not at the holy side, at the... I can get the... Hmm. Hmm. How do I get the pearls? Do I say fuck the pearls? Maybe. I will remove this. I will remove this so much. I will remove this for glory. It's sadly not at the river, so it will not be the holy side. Science. Why am I whispering? Because I'm impressed. That's 
Yes. Don't get any ideas. Favorable traits. Yeah. Don't get any ideas. I mean, if one of these is not a mountain. I think I want to start on a settler after this. Oh, quick walls, then get this, and then start to build settlers. Tons of settlers, skip the oracle. I mean, I need a hill for an oracle. What does the oracle do? Pattern of great people cost less faith. That alone is already good. Districts in the city provide plus two great person points of the day. I want the oracle, it's just good. Um, really? So I can kill this, but then I'm in trouble. Nope. Walls are 80 production. Badana is also really good. I don't have time for that stuff. Shit! Shit! I did not pay attention anymore. Shit, when did the profit go? I have no idea. Where is the notification log? I want to know. Give me the notification log. I know there is one. I just don't know where. Or oh, don't I have this? Is this a more thing? I will reload for this because I was just forgetting it. And I'm not getting a religion now because of me forgetting it. They produce so much more. I can completely miss out on a religion because of this. Egypt! That's the exact shit that should not have happened. What does this do? Nothing. World Tracker. Where is the notification log? Is it in here? Current deals? No, this is not what I want. Okay, this is now annoying me super much. SIF 6 notification log. Where the heck is it? I have seen other players use it. So where is it? Oh come on, I when I Google is sometimes so useless. I place a right save six notification blocks. What are the up most what are the posts it gives me? Say five notification block. Is there a notification block? Yeah, that's that's exactly my question. Save six does save six does not. So it would be a UI thing if it has. Fuck! Okay. I want to know how long ago it is. You know what? This is the last thing we do in this game. We go for quick save. Now we load a few turns back. 
because I want to know. I will load five turns back. I have no idea. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Does it say when founded? Useless. The UI is actually something that is the worst in Civ 6. So we have this turn. Let's go here and see. Because I did not check for a lot of turns. And I should have. I, I even said it the very turn if I started to build the wonder. I have to check every turn. What did I do? Check the first two turns and then not anymore for the next like eight turns. That's exactly what I should have avoided. Ah! Oh. The wonder is not worth it if I get not a religion because From of the that. first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps. So, you have um, if you're not interested now in me reloading and searching quest. for the spot, just skip to, skip to the next episode. I will, I will make a cut stars. as soon as I have found Why out when she Seventh got that problem. The Khmer admire your dedication to their well-being. I mean, I use a, U, a UI mod, so I wonder those players have that people, notification just as it brings you What UI mod do they use? Heaven. Because they seem not to be used forth, the same, or they architect. seem to be using several other times. I always thought the CQ UI mod was the most popular one. That's the one I'm using, mighty. although they renamed it in a few weeks ago. Come on, load the game, please. I mean, that's what the game is doing, it's loading itself. I hate to, to do reloads just because things happen. I could have done that at the Stone Age, but I didn't. And I actually didn't intend to do it in this game. And I said I'm playing good then forgetting one of the most important things talking about a religious game and then failing on the religion because I'm stupid I have a lot of faith stored up so I know I can save save the last few turns by just faith back the prophet if you could like say automatically Faith by the prophet as soon as you can. Oh, I would love that. Sometimes the wheel turns. Okay, slowly, here we are super close. But it turns. Egypt is also close, but e Egypt is the one that got it. It's not this one, or probably, but no, it's not this one. It's Egypt that the one, the one that got it. Uh, options, graphics, good. So here we were doing. This guy is going for that. This guy did this. Choose research. We're going for this because we need the walls. In here we're fine, right? Do I want one more faith per turn? Instead of one production? No. I don't think that one faith per turn makes a difference. Unless I could get ah, the trader that I cannot get. Okay. Shouldn't. Was there a notification for that? Someone has found it? No. There is no notification when someone founds a religion. I only know the first usually because of Stonehenge. Then I know, ah, oh, okay, the religion is going now. Here? Move here. Why is it still 340? You're going to... Oh yeah, right. Put down the pins. City. Aqueduct. To do this, the other pin the next time. I did this already, that's good. I'm still greeting for... 
Oracle. Three hundred twenty. It's going down. Maybe if we're lucky this time, it doesn't spawn shit. So we're getting close to the turn where we actually were. Yeah, we get this again. She didn't, did, no, she didn't jump up in points. It's a good sign. Well, if she buys it, she still needs a turn. Shit! She has... What? Girl? You have... Oh, you have about 400 faith? Fucking 400 faith? No, oh, she has some pantheon that gives a shit ton of faith. Fucking 400 faith you just paid. Now I have to defeat someone as four in there. Fucking four. 53 turns. 180. How should I ever get a religion now? This pains me so much. But I said it, I got to make a cut in here. See you next time.